Let's pray. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, we thank you so much this morning. Thank you for giving us the gift of life and gift of today. We honor you, we bless you. You are great and you are awesome. You are the creator of all the earth and the heavens. Lord, you created us and you know us by name. And this morning, as, as, as we listen to your word, as we learn how to make right choices in our lives, we pray that, Lord, you will impact in, your, in, in us your spirit and help us, Lord, to walk in the light and know that, Lord, you gave us a great salvation for your glory. I thank you for every child in this place, every teen. I pray that, my Father, your spirit will be in them. Quicken them, O oh Lord, your words doesn't go back to you void and we love you and we worship you because you're great in Jesus name I pray so today we are going to start from Daniel chapter 1 about making the right making the right choices so our topic we will start from making the right choices and I'd like to read briefly in the book of Daniel chapter 1 so we are taught about uh, the book of Daniel. It is in the Old Testament. In the Old? Testament. So we are told in, the, in, the, in that year of the reign of, king, uh, of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and laid siege to it. And the Bible says the Lord handed uh, Je Jehoiakim, king of Judah, over to him along with some vessels from the house of God. Are we together? Who went to the siege? Who went to siege? Who went to take over the king of uh, Joachim, King Joachim? Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar? So what happened? Nebuchadnezzar took everything that was in Jerusalem and took them where? To Babylon. And he took over, even as we read in the Bible, the, the four men that we are going to study. Buona sifiwe. The four men we are going to study. So, the Bible says, when he has taken over, let me say as a story, and you listen to me. When Nebuchadnezzar had taken over Jerusalem, he took over even plus some young men. So, after laying siege, after laying siege, he took over the young men. Then later on, he said, let me have the young men who will later on be the rulers with him in his kingdom. And he said in verse 4, the young men without physical defects, good looking, suitable for instruction in all wisdom, knowledge, perspective, capable of serving in king's palace, and to teach them the Chaldees language and literature. And the king assigned daily, praise the Lord, some foodstuffs, like meat, wine, and all that. You get that point? They were to be given the king's meat every day. Then it happened, they were to do that for the, for the next three years. They were to be trained for how many years? Three years. Three years. Then what happened with Daniel? Daniel and the rest of the three other men. They said what? They said, do not allow us to defile ourselves with the king's meat. You get that point? He said, give us our own diet and we will live by it. And that diet was what? Vegetables. It was? Vegetables. And they did that, that for 10 days. There was a king who was in charge of them. Not a king, like a prefect. He was in charge of them. He's called, um, he's called, in the Bible, we, we are told there was somebody who was taking care of them for 10 days. In that 10 days, the, 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 the person who was taking care of them said, if you are not going to improve, the king will take it upon me. And I might be also be killed if you don't come out wisely. But Daniel prayed and said, Please help us not to divide ourselves before the Lord. Then they took it for 10 days, and then they were looking better. They were looking what? Better. And in that time, God gave them wisdom. The Bible says, in those 10 days, and the days that, that were with them, God gave them what? 
wisdom and understanding. When you continue reading in Daniel chapter 1, you see they were given wisdom and understanding. And by that time, the Bible says in verse 20, verse 20, they were 10 times better. They were? Why were they 10 times better? Because the Lord was with them. Matthew, Daniel, and the other three men came from where? They came from Jerusalem. They used not to stay in Babylon. They came from? So they were taken like the slaves to go to Babylon. But Daniel decided, we, will not, we are not going to defile ourselves with the king's? What? With the king's what? With the king's food, meat, king's food, or with wine, he drank. So you can imagine, you are given everything in a king's place. And you say, no, no, I don't want. I don't want. In this world, what happens? When we are living in this world, what happens? See, everything is there. Everything is there. Kuna mtu anakatazo wa kitu. Kuna mtu anakatazo wa kitu. But the Bible says what? Nothing, not everything is. Everything, not everything is permissible. You are not allowed to do everything. There are things which are to told, don't do this, and don't do this. As we know in the Bible, it says, our bodies are the temple of? Our bodies are what? So we should use our bodies to glorify the Lord and not to defile it with the pleasures of this world. With the pleasures of this so making a right choice, even as we read in the Bible, is deciding what is the right thing for me in this life. What is the right thing for you in this life? What do you think is the right thing for you? What is the right thing for a child to their parents? What is the right thing? What is the right thing for you as a child to your parents? To obey your parents. Where, where do we find it? Ephesians chapter 6 verse, it says what? Children. For this is the first commandment with? So how many obey their parents even today morning? How many obey? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So you obey your parents, even if you are old, at my age, I still obey my? I listen to them. Obey your parents. What other thing is good for you? What other thing is good for you? Respect others. Respect? You respect even those who are young. You respect those who are old. You respect those who are your elders. Even the Bible says you respect those who are in? Authority. The Bible says, submit to one another. Praise the Lord. Amen. Submit to one another. When you respect your elders, the Bible says, he gives grace to the, to the humble, but he does what? To the proud. He disgraces the proud. He gives grace to the humble. And when you are humble enough, you are able to Defeat the devil. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee away from. Resist the devil. So by humbling yourself and calling upon the name of the Lord with humility. Praise the Lord. You call upon the name of the Lord with humility. The Lord is able to fight for you as a young person, whatever you are going through. And that is what we see in the Bible. We know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of. And to fear God is to hate evil. Even in the same proverb, it says what? To fear God is to hate. What evil do we have in this world? Are we together? What evil do we have in this world? Look and tell me. Ni maafagani madaragani tukonaye kwa hii dunia. Watu wanachukiana, the hatred. What else? People who are pride. People who are jealous. People who are, what other thing do we have? People who are fornicating, what are that stealing, what other thing? So the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. When we read about Daniel, 
they decided we are not going to defile ourselves and we are going to do the right thing. So that is chapter 1. And the Bible says they were 10 times better. When you go to chapter 2, we see the king had a dream. The king had a Who was the king? Who was the king? King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. So what happened with the dream? He was unable to interpret. He was unable to? So let me tell you, when you know God, God will give you wisdom. You get my point? When you know God, God will give you wisdom. Then he was so anxious. The Bible says, Nebuchadnezzar used not to sleep. Kuna watu wa walali? Hmm? Unalalanga sangapi? What time do you sleep? What time do you sleep? Ten. Nine. Somebody else, what time do you sleep? Nebuchadnezzar was not able to sleep. The Bible says he was anxious because he saw a dream to understand it. So there was nobody else to interpret that. There was nobody else to interpret that because he had set aside some young men to have wisdom and he said, if nobody is going to interpret this dream from me, for me, I'm going to kill all of you. Even people who are ruling, they get. But if you have the Lord, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, do not be anxious for anything, but in anything by what? By prayer and supplication. First of all, it starts. Rejoice in the Lord, and again I say, let your request be known to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all human understanding, will guard your heart and mind. But we can see here, Nebuchadnezzar was anxious. He could not interpret the dream. And he wanted somebody to interpret for him the dreams. And there was nobody who was able to interpret the dreams. So when he gave orders that I'm going to kill all the people that are here, that are not going to interpret for me, the message went to Daniel and his, his, uh, his friends. The Bible says Daniel and his friends. And the friends of Daniel, we know there were the three other men that we have in the Bible, of which uh, in Daniel chapter 1, verse... Daniel chapter 1, verse 7, the chief official gave them different names. To Daniel. He gave them Bethshazzar to Hananiah, Shadrach to, to Michel, Michel, Meshach to Azariah, uh, and Meshach, Michel, Meshach and to Azariah Abednego. Praise the Lord. So Daniel, when we heard that the king is going to kill all of them, he said what? He went to his friends and say there is an order from King Nebuchadnezzar. If nobody is going to interpret the dream, he's going to kill all of us. So what did they do? What did Daniel do? Can we go to Daniel chapter 2, verse, verse 16? Daniel chapter 2, verse 16. So he could give the, the king the interpretation. So in this life, when you are making the choices in life, you should take time in making your right choices. You are still young, 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 young teens. And there are people who are making choices in grade seven. Am I right? You choose which one you are going to do, the art subject or the science. So you need God to help you make the right parents. You should uh, seek instruction for you to know which which subjects you can do. So we see here, the Bible says they went to pray. They went to pray and seek intervention from God. And by seeking intervention, the Bible says, God revealed the dream to who? To Daniel at night. And we can see that in, from, verse, uh, from verse 19. Daniel chapter 2, verse 19. The mystery was then revealed to Daniel in a vision at night. 
You know the Bible says in the last days God will pour out his spirit to all young men. Joel chapter 2. In the last days God is going to pour out his spirit to all men. And even the young men will see visions. And even many will be filled with the spirit of God. And you will interpret dreams when you have the spirit of God. So in time of Daniel, at night, God revealed himself to him. And even the Bible says, in the last times, God used to talk to men through the, the ancestors, through our ancestors, like Abraham, Isaac, Daniel, Moses. But now he's talking to us through who? Through Jesus Christ. How do we get to know Jesus Christ? We get to know Jesus Christ through his word. Praise the Lord. And you know, the kingdom of God is righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. So when God talks to you in your life, you are able to get the revelation of what life is about. about. You will not be lost if you seek the Lord. The Bible says, seek the, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. The Lord is near to you. Nobody refused to you came. So there is a willingness in you to know the Lord. And the best time to know the Lord is when you are young. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, the whole purpose of a man is to do what? Is to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. The Bible says, Come all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you what? The Lord will give us what? Rest. Praise the Lord. John nyote msumbukao na kulemewa na mizigo mizito na minita wapumzisha. Do you know who, will, you, who, you will, who you will become tomorrow? Do you know? Do you know, do you know what tomorrow holds? So it is the time to seek the Lord. It is the time to call upon the Lord while you are still young. And the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. That is Romans chapter 10 verse 17. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Faith comes by hearing. Say with me, faith comes from? The Bible says when you hear the word of God and put it into practice, you will be compared to what? You will be compared to a tree planted by the water. Kuna watu walipanda miti last week, last Monday. Ilikuwa tare kuminatatu. So when you hear the word of God, you become like a tree which is planted where? Near the streams of water. And the Bible says you will never run dry. You will never run dry. There is Psalms chapter 1 verse 1. It says what? Night. It is the same like Joshua. What was Joshua told by the Lord? When Moses died, what was Joshua told? So Joshua was told, be strong and be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. So when you are making your choices as a teen, you should be strong and courageous, having to, having the word of God with you and being able to meditate on the, on the law of the Lord day and what do you meditate upon during the day? Do you go play ball? Okay. So we should meditate upon the law of the Lord day and day and and God is going to bless us. As we finish on uh, Daniel chapter 2, let's finish on da Daniel chapter 2. I wanted to, tell, to show you that. So Daniel praised God for revealing the vision to him. Let's re read from verse 20. What does it say? Verse 20. And he declared, May the name of the Lord be praised. May the name of God be praised forever and ever, for wisdom and power belongs to him. Tuko pamoja? For wisdom and power belongs to him. 
he changes times and seasons. He removes the king and establishes the kings. He gives the wisdom to the wise. So we are in 20. He changes times and seasons. He removes the kings and establish kings. He gives wisdom to the wise. He does what again? And knowledge to those who have understanding. Verse 22. He reveals the deep and hidden things. He does what? He does what? He reveals the deep and the hidden things, he knows what is in the darkness, and the light dwells with him. I offer thanks and praise to God, my Father, because you have given me wisdom and power, and now you have let me know what we asked of you. You have let us know the king's mystery. Praise the Lord. So after Daniel was revealed the the dream of the king Nebuchadnezzar. He went to the king. And the Bible says, and the Bible says he was, he was courageous. He said, can I go to the king and interpret the dream? So he went and interpreted the dreams for, for the king. So what happened? He was given a reward. He was given a Let me tell you, when you get the salvation, and you believe in the Lord Jesus. God will not leave you. The Bible says in, in uh, Isaiah 43 verse 10. Even when we walk through the waters. The Lord will not leave you. Even if you walk through the fire. God will not leave you. Praise the Lord. There are challenging times that can come in our lives. Even when you are young. Even when you go through a hard time in your life, what happens? What happens? The Lord will not leave you, nor will he forsake you, but he will forever be with you. So you can see, Daniel, after revealing the secret to the king Nebuchadnezzar, he was promoted. Do you know he was promoted? So every time you obey the Lord, every time you seek the Lord, Every time you live in his presence, what, that, what happens? The Lord promotes you from one glory to another. And let me remind you, all that was written in the Bible is for our example. So what happened in the old was written for our example so that we may know what happened in life. And we may be cautious of how to live. The word of God tells me, the word of God is a lamp unto my feet. You get that point? The earlier you get as a young person that the word of the Lord is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. So you can imagine you have a lamp. Imagine you have a lamp, yes? A lamp. It is a lamp unto your feet. Are we together? Look at me, everyone. The word of the Lord is a lamp unto your feet. And then how about your path? It is the light unto you. That's why we started singing, walk in the light. You walk in the light. How do you walk in the light? You let the word of God dwell in you richly. In the book of Colossians, it says what? Let the word of God, Colossians 3.16, let the word of God dwell in you richly. Re? Richly, everybody should have a Bible from today onwards. As we start the DVBS, you come with your Bible. Get to know God on your own. Everybody, let me tell you, when people are having their testimony, they say God is my personal. Does somebody say God is our personal savior? Can I say God is our? God is my personal? You walk with God. And the Bible says, Enoch walked with God and he was no more. You get that point? And there was a person called Enoch in the Bible. Look at me, everybody. There was a person called Enoch in the Bible, in the Old Testament. He walked with God. Abraham walked with God. And he said what? He was told to be the father of nations. And even we see Isaac. Isaac, he walked with God. When he went to plant in the desert, 
the Bible says he got a hundred forth. And you know, planting in a desert, you may see there is nothing coming out. So it is a great time as teenagers, as youth. You do what? You accept the Lord Jesus as your personal savior so that you may be able to make the right decisions, right choices, and you may be able to have a good character. The word of God tells me, you know, when you have God in you, when you go through a lot of trials, that time, it, it says in uh, James, count it all joy when you go through a lot of trials. Because in your trials, you develop patience, you develop a uh, goldiness, you develop what? You know how to love. You get the fruit of the Spirit in you when you walk with God. Praise the Lord. You know the fruit of the Spirit? The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, How many are they? Without them, there is no law. There is no law. So the Spirit of God, when it comes to you, you are able to have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And the same Bible tells me, it is in Galatians. Eh? Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. It talks of the Spirit of, the fruit of the Spirit. But before that, it talks about the wickedness. If you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption. Uh, uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 9, verse 19. If you sow to the flesh, you reap what? Corruption. And the things of the flesh are evident. Let me read for you. Strife, jealousy, anger, outburst of anger, selfish ambitions, desertions, fractions, envy, as I told you before, that those who practice this thing, this, this thing will not inherit the kingdom of God. You get that point? So God will deliver you. Praise the Lord. I want us to rejoice in this DVBS. Thank God for giving you the time to come. The time to praise the Lord is here. The, pla the praise to praise the Lord is here. Every time, it is time to seek the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I want us to stand and we sing walking in the light.